Good day everyone, I'm the Hat Hobbit and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I've been pretty happy to be back in this. This is actually the first video I'm recording in a while, mainly because I just took a massive break. And I'm just pretty excited to get back into this. Uh, so if I mess up, it's because I haven't played this in a while. Other than that, we must just jump straight into this. Hello there. Oh, okay. Uh, that, that's not what I want to jump straight back into. No, I remember you. Okay. I remember you. I don't like you. Uh, how do I dodge again? Ah! Okay, let's try and block that. Uh-oh. Okay, let's do some slashes. Okay. Uh, we're running a little bit low. Let's... Need a stem. Yep, stem up. Ow. Where's he coming? There he is. Oh, dear, oh, dear. So how do I dodge again? Oh, like that, okay. Uh, all right, so let's... Ow, that was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay, block this. Uh, right, let's heal up again. Straight into the action this episode, am I right? <laughs> okay, blimey. Uh, let's try and do an overhead slash. Hey, we did it! Oh. Talk, talk about an, talk about a very exciting start to an episode. Right, let's scan this boy. I'll check it out. So an Ogdo, let, let let's read about this. Sever the tongue with a combination of force and lightsaber attacks. Oh, that's a cool idea. I didn't even think about that. All right, so the Ogdo is a highly threatening alpha predator at the top of the Bogonov food chain. This creature attacks with an adhesive tongue capable of reaching eight meters. In length that latches onto its prey, then pulls him into its jaws. That's that's a, that's a fair distance. I mean, I wish there's a part of me that wishes I had a tongue that long. <laughs> oh dear. All right. So this form of strike is particularly effective against most foes due to its thick hide. It's a it is able to resist a straight-on lightsaber attack, and it's extremely dangerous at close range, often leaping at a target to close the distance. So, what I'm gathering from this is probably take this on at range. Something along those lines. Anyway, let's head back to the ship, because I think that's where we need to go. Oh, hello, what's this? BD one's looking at some stuff. Oh! My friend. Hello again. It appears the Cepho had some interest in Dathomir. Dathomir? What's Dathomir? For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Oh, looks like it's bad then. Alright, let's read this, shall we? So, discovering Daphomir, my friend. Oh, it's just what he said, but. So, there's more to be discovered on Daphomir, which I imagine is the planet where we might be going. So, how about we enter the workshop very quickly, just because. I don't know, is this where we were before? Oh no, this is a new shortcut. Oh, that's pretty. <gasps> Hello! Oh my goodness, you're so cute! You are so cute! No, come back, I want to be friends with you. You're the cutest thing. thing. Uh, 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 I kind of want to go back to that save point just in case, so, uh. Ah! Uh, uh, well, uh, that didn't really go to plan. Anyway, we're back at the save point, so. Let's just quickly save. Uh, we, we currently don't have any skill points available, but we'll rest because it'll get us everything back. Uh, although, enemies respawn, which isn't the greatest thing in the world, but, I mean, we can deal with that, I think. Oh, well. So let's just roll it. You know, one day I'll be actually good at video games, but let's just wall run over here for now. Climb up here. Jump across here. And let's just... Get all the way back up to the top. He's so cute. Oh, they're like mini squirrel porgs. I, I don't know. That's the best way to describe them, in my opinion. I, I'm, I'm not dealing with you again. So I'm just gonna go this way. With thank you very much. Uh, is that another thing I can get? Possibly. 
I don't think I can jump that far. Um, so I don't think I'm going to risk it. I'm just going to see if I can head my way back to where I need to be, which is over there. All right, we're back at the ship. You are at that BD-1? What are you scanning? Oh, what my goodness is it? Those little tiny things. A boggling. Oh my lord, boggling is the cutest thing. Boggling tiles. Boggling tiles connect their nests and serve as natural defense against predators, able to dig five meters per day. Bogglings collaborate in heckles or large, pa large packs, spending approximately one third of their lifespan digging the intricate tunnel network. That's awesome. There's so much lore in this. It's okay, my little friend. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going over here. Right, let's get back back to the ship then. You passed the test. Yeah, we did. So you knew I think. About BD1. Come on board. We'll talk inside. All right, sir. So. I think that's how you pronounce it. Hey, Grease. What is that? Get off my shoulder! Get off my shoulder! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of petroleum weed fabric? Not really. Oh, I mean, I don't I either. You found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of force sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. It's I exciting. It's exciting. It's exciting. Oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Oh, wow. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Oh, nice. So yeah, holocrons are sort of like the hard drives of the Jedi, or like the books, force? in a sense, to sort of explain it, I think. I think that's what they are anyway. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. <gasps> I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. I didn't realize he was in this. <laughs> With that That's list awesome. of force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it. Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Yeah, that's my first thought as well. Before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. Oh, blimey. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? Just says no. <laughs> We're in. <laughs> the uh. It's your choice. All right, well, uh, I don't, okay, so multiple entries, uh, let's see, journey begins, okay, so he basically goes into detail of what we just heard. So, we've got a choice, we can either go to this Daffo, sort of, this Daffo Mere place, or the Zepho homeworld, let's Here. talk real quick. Can you feel the force at all? Yes, but instead of opening up, I push it back down. Oh, that's a real shame. Exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. Oh yeah, I remember painful, that. But like I found a piece of myself. That's good. It's nice. You're learning to embrace the Force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay, I'll keep trying. All right, so let let's decide where to go, shall we? I mean, uh, let's see. So, picking our next destination. Follow your instincts. So let's see. So. Um, is this the Zepho? Okay, so that's Zepho, and then we've also got Daphomir. So I think we should probably definitely go to Zepho first. But the looks of things, this might actually turn into sort of like an open world game, which is pretty cool, actually, when you stop and so think about it. If the order thing is rebuilt, you 
think any Jedi will come out of hiding? I do hope so. Um, what makes you think there are a Jedi hiding? No, I'm just curious. Is there someone specific you're thinking of? Well, growing up, we heard tales of a green, pointy-eared, legendary <laughs> Jedi master. And... Are you talking uh, about get master, master Yoda? Yoda? Yes, he is very legendary. <sighs> Wait, what? Who? No, no, I'm talking about Master Yaddle. Let me have mine. No problem. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, we're here. Get in your chair. All right. So that's cool. So you got to sit in your chair for landing. Look at a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Um, something strange. Yeah. Those winds are interfering with our comms. That, that, Cordova that's not normal. about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. <sighs> the visuals in this game are still insane. Oh. Couple bombs ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. I imagine it would be. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on! Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. All right, Cal, so... Over here. You did good work on Pagano. Oh. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I mean, I was, I've heard of ancient I was cultures, gonna, but don't know much you about know, them. go and find I out some stuff. I Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. Yeah. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. Yeah, like, the mysteries of what's out there is actually really, really interesting. I mean, like, there are billions of galaxies to be explored. Like, and obviously we can't do it now because we don't have the technology, but I imagine in the future we will. It's going to be pretty exciting. Hey, is this a chest? Hello, it is. <laughs> uh. Oh, all right then. What's it gonna be? So what was in there? Hey, a, a new BD1 skin, which I'm. I think I'm gonna stick with BD1 because I I just love puns so much. <laughs> so let's see, can we get in here? Uh, it looks like we can. Oh, maybe not. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, so let's have a look around, see what we can find, eh? Whoa, this is like a full long hangar. Okay, so maybe there'll be something here. Yeah, this is a hangar for sure. Can we get up here maybe? That doesn't look like there's much up there though. Oh, another chest. Might as well have a look what's inside. I imagine it's all cosmetic stuff, but... What's it gonna be? Ah, a new poncho material. Let's actually check that, because we don't actually have poncho material on. I actually really like that. Let's, let's equip this. There we go. We actually look pretty cool. Anything around the back here? I'm, I'm very much the type of person to search around everything. No, nothing here but looks of things. Alright, well, let, let's just go in here and see what... That's not opening. <sighs> Never mind then. Um, why can, can we go up anywhere? Because it looks like there might be a place up there we can go. Oh, wait, what? What? Well, you found something clearly. Oh, like right text. Yes, that's something scan. Good job. So this is just a sturdy storage crate. Okay, so I mean the high winds were basic. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. It makes sense why it's like that. I imagine we'll need to go up here. You do not look look like a friendly boy. Uh, I've forgotten if there's a way to stealth. Is there a way to stealth? <laughs> uh. Quickly just get across here. Oh, you're definitely not friendly. Uh excuse me. Watch out, BD. Don't look friendly. I'm really getting the hang of this combat though. I'm getting the hang of the dodging and stuff. Oh. 
That's a really fun combat. Ah, right, let's scan this boy. Scaz. So capable of two different attacks thereby, I praise heal or lock them down with a leap that cannot be blocked. Alright, so pretty simple stuff by looks of things, but that's pretty cool. I mean, they actually look really cool, and uh, poor dude. It looks like the Empire's here though, so. Cal, can you hear me? Ah, cool. The Empire. They found Zeppo. If they were following the mantis. We would have been swarmed already. Yeah, true. Could they be looking for the tombs? Could be Let's indeed. Hope not. Just got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround. Ah. Back into there. No, you don't do that. That's not fair. Not whilst I'm being. Not whilst I'm talking. You don't attack me. Oh, there's more. I love the combat system though, it's very intuitive. Uh, right, so do we go up here first? I believe we will. Like, who knows, there might be something cool up here, or maybe like a shortcut back. No, it's definitely something, because this I imagine I can all run on, yeah. So what's over here? Oh, well, this definitely looks like it's a shortcut of some sort. Yes? Yes, okay, that's going to be useful for later if we ever come back here. But... Ah! Uh... Ah! Uh... <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, I managed to reflect that one. But looks like we took a little bit of damage, which isn't the greatest thing in the world. Time to scan a little bit more. Ah, right, that's the symbol of the Empire. Warning, this area is off limits. Um, not to me. I'm going to sneak through because, I don't know. I, we need to look around this place. Oh, that's just beautiful. Like, really, really cool. So I imagine we'll need to slow this down. Yeah. So we can jump across there. Is it? Let's go. Oh, I love those finishes, they're so cool. Like, I can't get enough of them. Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, Scout Trooper. Uh, can block lightsaber attacks, but Demence is easily damaged. Okay, so it's very easy to sort. Yeah, easily dealt with. I mean, I think that was your last mistake, mate. Not gonna lie. <sighs> Forgot how much I like this game. Uh, so yeah, this is maybe this is where we need to be because I'm not sure. I mean, the Empire's it. Uh, please don't shoot me. Ah! Uh, ah! Huh, that wasn't too bad, was it? I'll check it out. So this looks like a sort of a scout troop leader. Ah, oh, scout troop commander. I wasn't. I wasn't far off. There are a lot of the empire around here, so we should definitely be on our guard. I'd say. There's another chest. Don't mind me. I'm just checking the chest. Ow! All right. Well, I'm. <laughs> oh, that might be a sample I say for later. That's a fantastic sound. Oh no! Oh no! 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 All right, let's try this again, shall we? What's in this box? Ah, new alpha material. So, I imagine that's ah. So there's a whole new alpha material. So, I kind of like the guardian one. Yeah, it's much more. It's it much more fits the sort of the uh, poncho I'm wearing at the moment. Hello. Oh, what's this? Uh, shortcut, maybe again? Oh, okay, this is a four spot, I think. Yes, okay, so we can re regenerate our health. We've also got some skill points, I think, available, so let's see what we can get. Uh, so we could get Empowered Slow. 
Uh, we don't have enough of that. To be honest, I think we probably should just um, maybe increase our life a little bit, because I'm, I'm finding we're losing a lot of life very quickly, so... Yeah, let's get that. Maybe maybe that unlocks some stuff for us as well later on. We're also pretty close to a new skill point, so who knows? All right, let's rest really quickly. Even though the enemies will restore respawn, it's going to be a lot better for us in general. And let's just sort of continue onwards. So it's going to open. Ah, it is. All right, yeah. All right, cool. So. That takes us back to the hangar. <laughs> yeah, I, none of that, please, good sir. Ah! Okay, we're back over here, so let's just jump up here. That kind of looks like a TIE fighter to me. I don't, I don't know why, but it kind of does. And let's just jump up here. Got some more stormtroopers. Was that a TIE Fighter? Hello? Was that a TIE Fighter? Or something? I don't know. I I'm not going to stick around here for check. Oh, chest, chest, hello. What's it going to be? Oh, I need lightsaber sieve. Light lightsaber? Lightsaber. <laughs> ah, dear, dear. I can't speak today. Still quite, well, relatively early. You saw nothing. I still love those finishes, they're so cool. Uh, right, so. What's over here? Is that another chest? Ah, uh, right, so that's the chest that we've probably got to get back to later. Uh, and that's probably something for later as well. I don't think we can do anything there. So let's see what's over here, I'd say. We just jump over here, and. Is this another save point? It would appear to be. So. We might as well upgrade whilst we're here, and maybe, yeah, so, let, yeah, May, maybe we should regenerate as well? Alright, well, first things first, let's, let's increase our achievement with the force, that gives us a little bit more force as far as I'm aware. Um, we might as well rest, like, there's no point in not resting when we can't. Uh, and maybe this is, ah, uh, this definitely looks like the way to go. It's very dark, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure what this looks like for you, but it's very dark for me, so I might see if I can brighten it up in post. But man, it's dark. This looks like something I can run across, so I'm definitely going to do that, just in case. That oh, almost ran off the edge there. Blimey. Just see what's over here. Ah, that looks like the exit, maybe? Let's see, let's just open this. Oh, come on! <sighs> Alright. Uh, where was that pole? There it is. I can barely see anything, though. This, this is actually quite difficult for me to see, so I imagine it's very difficult for you guys to see at the moment. Uh... Right, let's jump over here. A little bit of in the dark platforming. Never hurt anyone, or did it? I honestly have no idea what we're looking for. I mean, we're looking for clues as to what we need, but I know that much. But apart from that, I have no idea where we're going. But it definitely looks like the way forward. Is this a light switch? It is a light switch. Oh, that's fantastic. Ah, right, uh, let's just jump over here and see if we can find out where we're going. All right, well, it looks like there isn't too much around. I want to sneak up on you. And there's another one of these boys. All right, let's take care of you. Ow! I didn't expect you to come back as well. Okay, so this looks like another slowing one, so let's just slow you now. Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, well that's gonna keep going, and then slow again. Uh, maybe not there. 
Um, how do I speed it up again? I guess we just wait, but that'll do. Uh, yeah, barely made it. That looks like a problem. That looks like a goat. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I pressed the wrong button to dodge. Uh, hello, good sir. Why are you attacking me? Ow. Ow. Oh, blimey, you do damage. You do damage, and I'm dead. Oh, that's an oof. Uh, when you restore, you... Ah, oh, so, looks like... Interesting. So, you lose, like, all the XP that you've got. So, let's just respawn back in, and... Where will we be again? Because I'm hoping it won't be in that dark place. Uh... Oh, no, it's right before the dark place. Uh, oh, well, at least it's lit up again. Right, I'll, I'll get back to where I was, and then I'll come back. Except I always get distracted by boxes. Oh, all right, What's then. in here? So what was in there? Ah, new lighting material. Copper, that's actually a really nice colour. I might have to take a look at that when I can. All right, let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. I forgot the counter. Uh, slightly early. Let's just keep it slowed down just so I can get to here, and then we should just be able to jump. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Um, that really didn't go to plan at all. Uh, let's just try this again, shall we? Okay, so back to where we were. Taking care of this boy. I keep pressing the wrong button to dodge. Oh, nice. So, oh, that, that's pretty cool. So, ow. Oh, okay, we took him out. So, what was this guy? A Philok. Uh, Philok are masterful climbers, be able to move with ease on mountain paths. Solitary by nature, they leave their mother's side early to find their own territory. The horns on their heads are the greatest weapon. When two Philok clash, the sound of thunders, uh, the, the sound thunders across the mountains. As they age, their horns steadily grow, adding a new ring for each year of their lives. That's pretty cool. So they're a bit like a tree, uh, so like somewhat like a tree goat. <laughs> That's kind of the easiest description I have for them. Well, that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, hello. A lot more of the Empire here, so let's just sort of... Just take them all out, shall we? You can't beat us all. Yes, I can. Are you gonna kill us all? <laughs> uh, is that a bazooka? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 stem. Stem. To recover. Yes, I am. Because I'm not dumb. <sighs> um, so yeah, you, you're an explodey boy. Uh, I don't want to deal with you right now. So, uh, that's not a door I can open. Okay. So, let's see if I can do this again. Hopefully it won't fall off again. Thankfully, this one's rusted, so we can. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. <sighs> oh, that, that, that actually scared me. <laughs> All right, let, let's try this again. So let's jump on here, freeze you. Except you're in the horriblest position in the world, so let's not do that. Um. Right, let's see. How long can I stay on this? That's not what I wanted to do! Oh dear, dear. Alright, I'm we're gonna have to end the episode soon, so I will, Oh, for goodness sake! <laughs> Note to self, don't just randomly press buttons. <laughs> right, let's quickly run across here. Because it looks like we might be able to get up there. Uh, so let's see if we can get up there and then we'll up the episode. 
Actually, before we do, it looks like BDU1's found something, so what's this? Village Shrine. These monuments once served as landmarks and memorials for the departed. The villagers of Zephyr possess deep respect for the dead, acknowledging that their, su that their struggles enable the surviving survival of the living. It's possible these stone structures were inspired by ancient Zephyr architecture. That's pretty cool. So, I mean, there's a lot of deep lore to this by the looks of things. But anyway, that's about as much time as I've got for today's episode. If you did enjoy today's episode, please let me know by hitting the like button. It really helps me out my channel. Completely free to do. And hey, if you're new around here, consider subscribing. It's also completely free. And you can subscribe at any time if you want. But it lets you know when I upload. So apart from that, I have very little to say except for see ya, take care, and bye bye.